the first vlog, I told you a few things about myself. Now, I want to show you more. Welcome to Bukovina, my homeland and one of the most beautiful regions in Romania. to give you a guided tour of this wonderful room mostly because I like that it feels really really cozy underneath it is the kitchen and I guess that the heat is running non-stop here so even if uh, there are minus 15 degrees outside here it feels very very warm I'd like to show you the view as well because that's spectacular too so imagine waking up with this amazing view. Here we're gonna have some amazing mornings here. And I do hope it snows a little bit because I like to show you the scenery here when it snows. It's just fabulous. Let's see the rest of the room. Okay, so here we have the closet, a little refrigerator, just in case you want to bring some wine and chill it. I don't think it's uh, working, I guess it's not plugged yet. The bed, the coverings as well. Hey, the heat is on and I must say this heater is on fire. Okay. And I'll show you a little bit of the bathroom. Pretty basic as you can see, but you can make it work. And so, so clean. Next, I'd like to take you on a tour to the restaurant of this place. Um, they have really tasty traditional food. And I'd like to show you a few of them because they're absolutely delicious. delicious food you can find here. These are called scrigele. They are slices of potatoes salted and cooked on a stove which is fueled just by wood and they are absolutely delicious. Okay, so after the room tour I'm gonna take you on a tour of this little farm that we're staying in. Yes, the accommodation that we're staying in is actually a little farm as well where they have domestic animals such as bunnies and horses and I think some chickens as well um, and it makes it a really really popular destination for uh, families with kids because they can interact with the bunnies and the horses and all the animals they have here and I think it's really relaxing uh, just to be around them Hi! Hi little Bugsy! Hi! Hello! They are so cute and so fluffy. Yeah. They're expecting something to eat. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have any food. But next time I will come prepared. I promise. Okay, so the horses here are actually outside now. Even if it's a little bit cold, they're kind of aligned. <laughs> Just look at them, they're so cute waiting there. I think they're waiting for tourists. Now I've been here in summer as well and uh, I love that the place has ponies as well and the children can ride the ponies uh, in this yard and it's so much fun for them uh, unfortunately they're not available today maybe it's because it's so cold outside um, and they also have 
birds as I told you before chickens domestic chickens and birds and stuff it's pretty nice actually um, but since it's winter we can't see them however I'm gonna show you their little garden it's a really really nice garden in which they usually plant in summertime uh, strawberries and I've tasted some of them and I have to tell you the taste is just amazing it's like they're so sweet and they have so many flavors you can't really find any of them in supermarkets they just don't taste like that so if you have the chance to come here please please come and visit this beautiful garden and taste some of the strawberries Okay, so that's it for the local tour. We're gonna go and see what other places and activities we can find nearby. And of course, I'll take you with me. Are you ready? We just arrived at a local ski slope called Shoimu, which is about five kilometers away from our accommodation. And um, it's a pretty nice ski slope actually. Unfortunately, it didn't snow very much uh, during the last days, so uh, they don't have a lot of snow on it. But it's a pretty nice place if you want to ski and um, enjoy the fresh air from what i've read online it's a difficult slope so if you don't have any experience with skiing you probably shouldn't try it It's not, it's actually pretty nice and pretty safe. Uh, huh. I just had to do a lot of effort trying to control it, but it's pretty safe, you know? I mean, it's good, it's nice, you can try it, even if it's the first time on a slate. It's really nice, I do recommend it, it's a lot of fun. And if you get hungry because of all that skiing and exercise, you can always find something tasty to eat here at the local restaurants. And nearby the slope, you also have stores where you can actually rent the ski equipment. So if you come unprepared, you can always find some equipment to rent right here. Next I have something prepared for those of you who are a little bit interested on the spiritual side. Uh, we're going to visit a very famous monastery he that's uh, located here in the area. It's called Voronets um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it while I'll show you the building.
Uh, we need to wear the masks inside the premises. However, I hope you can understand what I'm saying. I'd like to give you some more details about this beautiful monastery. It was built in 1488 and it's considered the 16th chapel of the East. Colors blue and green are the most common in the exterior paintings. This uh, exterior wall of the monastery is actually fascinating because it represents the doomsday judgment uh, when Jesus Christ, which is up here, judges the people that come to him and decides whether they go to heaven or to hell. beautiful ski slope it's actually a ski resort it's called the Rareu ski resort it's uh, in Campulum Moldovenesc a little bit further from uh, our accommodation about 30 kilometers or so this one is actually bigger and I would say a lot nicer than the one we saw before it has about three kilometers in length so it's pretty spacious uh, it's a medium type of slope so uh, if you're just starting to ski, it's not really the best choice. But the plateau is pretty nice and it gives you a great view of the surroundings. So if you, even if you don't want to ski, it's a nice place to visit because you can see the surroundings um, and you can admire them. It's pretty nice. Just gonna show you around a little bit and then we'll be on our way.
were wondering uh, what's the name of this beautiful mountain road, uh, it is called Trans Rareo. It is by far one of the most beautiful mountain roads that I've been on. I'd say Trans Rareo is actually in top three of the most beautiful mountain roads in Romania. The first two being Trans Fogarășan and Trans Alpina. And yes, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is definitely a must for all of you mountain lovers and photographers because it gives you really, really impressive scenery. After you finish admiring the lovely sceneries, you can uh, continue the road onto the top of the mountain Raro and you can grab a bite or you can climb even um, a little bit more and reach the natural monument called Pietra Le Doamne or the Ladies Rocks. You need to be prepared if you want to climb up there and have uh, suitable boots but you can also admire them uh, from down below I gotta tell you, this walk is pretty steep. Make sure you're energized before you go and visit the Nam Citadel. And also take really comfortable shoes with you. Oh, they're really necessary. Okay, talk to you when I get to the top. Okay, so even though the walk and the climb was pretty hard for me, I have to tell you, the view is totally worth it. So behind me, you can see the medieval fortress of Nantes. A beauty, isn't she? Okay, let's go see more. citadel is actually a historic monument and it was built in the 14th century and expanded in the 15th century what you see down there 
um, are the remains of some groves that were built around the citadel and when the enemies came around they used to fill them with water so the enemies couldn't get inside the citadel. It was a pretty clever defense. Now we're entering the Northeast Tower. And what you see here on my right is actually the medieval battle outfit. It wasn't optional, unfortunately. And now we're going to step into the prison. Now, I wouldn't want to be a prisoner in medieval times because at that time for lying, you would get beaten not only imprisoned so it wasn't a wee easy life for those who were down here and now we're going to follow the secret gateway Wow, this gateway is pretty low. Probably that's why they call it secret. And yeah, we're not allowed to go further than this, but probably that way was the exit. So, as you can see, the people who lived here in the citadel had a very nice view of the city. My friends wraps up our visit to the Nam Citadel and now we're on the road again. Hi you guys, 
I just wanted to let you know that I just arrived in heaven nature heaven that is I arrived at the Bikaz Canyon one of the greatest natural wonders we have in Romania and I have to tell you it is sublime and I'm going to show you so you can convince yourself of this beauty that I'm telling you about which eroded the Hashmash Mountains and this is how this beautiful canyon was created. these rocks like it did I mean it's just incredible incredible away we arrived at another piece of heaven you can see it behind me it's called Lakuroshu or the Red Lake and it has a pretty interesting legend So this beautiful lake that you see in front of you was actually formed on a spot where there were where there was a forest. There were trees here, but because of a landslide, the water came on to them and um, it transformed it into a lake. And the color red is actually from the leftovers from the trees, which uh, underneath the water turned into a reddish color. If you look closely, you can still see the remains of the trees um, that were on this area. In summertime, you can come here and enjoy a boat ride on the lake and admire its beauty up close. So this was our adventure in Bukovina. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope I inspired you to visit this lovely place. Until next time, please share and subscribe. Bye!
Thank you.